without us even seeing him, seeing him, I'm like, okay, this we is, knew that the God had chosen. This him. is the you know eight and a half years of waiting. Yes, that that God was doing this because we found <laughs> out he was born right when our second IVF failed. Hi, my name is Brian Webb, and this is my wife Tanya Webb. And um, we've been married 26 years, and I've been attending Graceland about 14 years now. We had we had wanted to. Um, be married for a couple years. You know, I'm a teacher, I had it all planned out. I'll get pregnant at this certain so that I can have the baby in April so that I can be off the rest of the year. <laughs> right, you don't you don't do that with God because it's gonna be his timing. But the, the really cool thing though is um, it was really drawing us closer together. Like, you know, it didn't it didn't separate us from the Lord. It really drew us together in, in that waiting time. So we um, ended up being invited to a meeting at Southeast Christian that does um, Ukraine adoptions through Hopeful Hearts. So we went to the meeting and was like, okay, Lord, you know, let's let's see what we have here. You know, as you go along, you, you get to go over to the Southeast and get to go there every once a month. Pray for those who are over there adopting. You'd pray for the ones who are in the process. And the ones who came back would bring their, their kids. And it was so awesome, because that gave you so much hope. So the time it took from us starting that process was 14 months before we traveled. We got to travel to see him, it was like two hours away, because we were in Kiev, and then we got to travel to a little village and see him, and we saw him, and it was emotional. Very emotional. He had little pink booties on, because they put whatever clothes on they have available, but he was in an orphanage, and he was available <laughs> to adopt, and we're like, yes, we're gonna adopt him. But we were able to get him, and go through all the process, and three weeks be able to bring him home. So three weeks was pretty, like that was, that was the best, the least waiting we ever had to do to bring him home. Um, I think God knew that I, that I couldn't take another day. Yeah, it, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was hard. It was very hard. And then we got home and, and all of the, uh, the drawers, the whole thing was our church family, our family had just totally, our, our house was totally different. I mean, like it was, it was kid proof. It was, kid -proof. <laughs> it was, there was toys in every cabinet. There was clothes in every, you know, cause then they knew that he was 18 months. So they went to town and they, they got all the toys that he needed, bath, everything. Yeah. It, it was pretty amazing to see the work of Christ in action. Because they, they knew the journey we had been on, you know, and how hard it was. And I mean, I look at our stories, you know, and I look at just the journey we went through. And sometimes I think back and go, did we really do that? Yeah. I mean, did we really, like, did we, did we go through all of this? And did we <laughs> actually go to a different country and live there and bring this child home? I mean, and, you know, and God was with us through all of it, and, um, you know, I feel like um, he looks at you and he says, you know, I got you, child. Like, I've got you. Like, it is okay. Like, I have to take you through these hills and the valleys, and waiting is okay because my timing is perfect. is perfect for your life. 